Hi! Um, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do my makeup for for Halloween this year. And um, I've been looking and looking and looking and looking and I finally found something I really like. This, this one that I'm going to do is really cool. Yeah. Okay, let's go. So I'm going to start by priming my eye and please don't mind my um, miserable looking eyebrows because... I'm house sitting and of course it's the only thing I forgot to bring is some stuff to my eyebrows so please no judgment. It's very weird using this camera as my mirror and um, I guess I would call this like a make it work video because um, I don't want to run out and buy a bunch of stuff for Halloween. Um, you know it's just it's once a year and I've splurged on other things um, like a costume. <laughs> I say I, and those of you who know me know who really paid for it. It's an e.l.f. primer. Let me see if I can hold that up. I don't know if it'll turn out upside down to you guys, or backwards. Oh, Lord. Obviously, I have no idea what I'm doing, but let's just keep going. I did splurge and get the, um, color tattoo, um, the white one. Well, this is, like, super shimmery <clears throat> so um I'm gonna try it and see how it looks um I thought it was gonna be matte it's not so um we'll just see how it goes now the reason I'm using this I'm hoping that it will um make the colors not only last longer because it's 24 hours um, who doesn't want to wake up with crazy, um, Halloween makeup perfectly intact. <laughs> I also thought maybe the white would help the color be more true to what it's supposed to be. Um, this is a double-ended Stila brush, number 30. I've had it forever. I use it for everything because the two brushes in one, it's a great for all over, and then I flip it around and then I get the crease, so... So what I just used was, in this was actually like my first big purchase, it's Urban Decay. Um, they have names, I want to say this is Grunge Palette, I don't know, they have names. I never knew what the names were, and the names were never on them, so when I was at the thing and they come in, they're like, oh, I'm looking for the Urban Decay Pony Palette, I'm like, <laughs> looking for the picture of like a pony on one of them, <laughs> but there wasn't, so. It's called Painkiller. It's also inside the um, Urban Decay Oh, it's a Wonderland palette. I'm going to take mildew from that same palette. Show you right there. It's like a dark green, dark khaki green color. I wonder how funny my eye, this eye looks when I look over at this one when I'm doing my makeup. So that actually blends pretty well. And I'm going to extend my crease up a little bit. And we're going to want to point it out instead of making it really round. Because my eyes are pretty round. I don't have a lot of um, almond shape to them. They're super round. So I want to drag and extend this out. Again, please don't mind the eyebrows. So, I think that actually looks pretty good. We're not quite done, of course. Um, we need way more depth to this. The 2011's Holiday Palette. I don't even know if it's actually called that. Color Wheel Eyeshadow Palette. Um, it's not the Holiday one. I think the Holiday one has less colors in it. Actually, they're probably a little more pigmented, I was told. But um, it's a fun little kit, and I use it a lot, actually. So... We're going to take a little bit of black, which is right in the center. <laughs> Poor thing, it's so close to me. You guys are just following along. Going down here with me. Because I, I want the color to stay in one area. 
that's how I'll blend it out. So I press it down with my more um, tightly, the bristles are much more tight together. So this is what I'm gonna, I pressed it in with and then I just flipped it over, that's why I love this brush, and then blended it with this one. I'm gonna stick with the Stila palette. I use that middle black color right there. And then I'm gonna use this brown right there. Can you see it on the very inside? Not the top one, the the one in the middle right there. I'm gonna use that. Oh, that went out nicely, didn't it? I was paying attention, I didn't even realize it. Love the whispering. Oh yeah, very cool. I'm gonna use this really bright aqua in the Stila palette, right? Not the big one, the little one right there. See it? Of course, I'm sure there's names on the little book that came with it. I don't know what the name is. And the the whole point, honestly, guys, is is not to like, oh, I have steel and I've entered Urban Decay and blah, blah, blah. No, the point is to just mix colors to make this really cool look. So, if you don't have this stuff, make it work. Use what you got. I would rather you guys use what you have instead of um, running out and buying expensive stuff. So, we're going to pull that over the top part of the eye. Oh, of course, my brow bone. Gotta highlight that brow bone. Oh, I'm just using, um, it's the darker, this one right here, which is kind of a skin tone color. I'm gonna um, tight line my eye with actually a gel liner, because that's all I have right now. I do have a liquid liner, but I've never tight lined with liquid liner before, and I don't really want to. So, this is an old intensive pigment from Revlon, Maybelline, who knows, L'Oreal, none of either of the ones that I guessed. It's just a really cool um, cream color liner, and I'm going to tight line, which means I'm going to line, I'll show you guys super close, see that little light part right there, I'm going to line that. I'm actually going to do that little light part as well. Um, if you're intimidated to do that, don't do it, who cares? <laughs> but um, I'm gonna do it, and I think that it, I've actually found that it's kinda easier using the cream liner, um, but when I was working in makeup, um, I never did the cream liner. On the tight line, I always did a pencil, so you might find it easier to just do a pencil. So I'm gonna tight line real quick. Okay, I actually decided I'm gonna try to do this so you guys can see. See how super easy that goes on? Now, I might start watering here in a second. I've got ridiculously watery eyes. I'm sure it comes from me not taking care of my contacts like I should. So, yeah, you guys can see. And again, I'm not... <laughs> This picture right here on my phone is not even as close as I normally get, like, <laughs> um, at the mirror. <laughs> so, this is it's kind of hard, like, tight lining from afar almost. This is a little brush that I'm using. It came with, um, this is Maybelline Eye Studio in, like, purple. Of course, it's got to have like a fancy name. It can't just be purple. Eggplant. So anyway, this little brush came with it, and I actually love this brush. <laughs> you know, I was always taught in makeup to like get rid of what it comes with and use all this expensive stuff. And I was talking with a friend the other day, and sometimes um, those little sponges work better than brushes sometimes. So. gosh this is so awkward but I'm trying see here we go you see the tear you see him right here 
Poor little guy. <laughs> okay, back to tight lining. Let's do this. It's a trick I learned from Candy Johnson, is um, who's my absolute absolute favorite on fa on um YouTube. Is pressing your eyes together once you have it on. There you go. That's gonna be plenty for right now. Too afraid to keep going without having a real mirror. <laughs> this is. You see that guy? I'll put him against my face. See if he'll focus. I'm not sure. He is, I think, a Sony Kashuk. And it's a little liner. If you can see, he's super tiny. See that? Super tiny. I'm going to go back to sm uh, Mildew. And um, set this liner right here. Because... As my girl would say, if you put something cream on, you have to put on something dry to set it. So we're setting this. I think that's all we're going to leave for down there. I don't think we're going to do a big giant smoke under there. Okay, so now I'm going to take, we're going to try this one handed again. Um, this is the e.l.f. Let's see. Waterproof pen. I got really good reviews. It was a buck. I thought I'd try it. I hate for this to look like a mess for you guys. For the four of you that will watch it. Just kidding. If you watch this, you're awesome. Now, I'm second guessing on the cat wing because <laughs> um, I'm being a German beer maid for Halloween. People like, why are you taking it so seriously doing your eye makeup? But um, Halloween's like the time that I get to play and get to do makeup again, and I never get to do it anymore, and I miss it. So, Oops. so of course, <laughs> um, I'm just if you know me. This is not surprising. <laughs> um, the two things I was really excited about having um, was my mascara and my new eyelash curler. <laughs> and I didn't bring either of those things. So, obviously I have mascara on, but it's not the one I wanted. My eyelashes aren't curled, so they don't have the same look. So I'm just grabbing a really light white to kind of come in the middle here. Soak up a little bit of tears. <laughs> Not real tears. But um, a little bit of brightness in here. And then, like I said, I don't have any of my eye makeups or my eyebrow stuff. So I have the, the shadow. This is a Stila shadow. I got it. Uh, just says brow set fair. Um, I actually got it at um, Nordstrom Rack. They, I've gotten some pretty good deals there. And I use the darker of the two. Because although my, my eyebrows are super dark, um, you don't want to add too much dark to them because then they look like Joan Crawford. And if you don't know who Joan Crawford is, immediately Google it. I'm looking at her eyebrows and you'll know what I'm talking about. It's not that. Okay. Actually, that's what I'm talking about. Um, my friend Shannon and I were just talking about how, like, we can see certain imperfections. She does hair and, and makeup sometimes, too. And we can see imperfections that other people can't. So. Um, so there's the one way. It's not exactly like the picture. But we're going to keep trying. That's what practice is for. And, um, I hope you like it anyway. hope you think it's pretty. So, um, I'm going to do the other eye. And then clean up my face. And then we'll see what it looks like.